G'day pilots, it's Requiem, and it's time to have a look at this Pad 13 in Flying Circus, and we'll start off in the cockpit as usual. On the left is the air pressure gauge, tachometer, water temperature gauge, oil pressure, and your air pressure regulator. Underneath it's hard to see, but you've got a water radiator control, which you can move forward to open, and underneath that is a bomb release handle. There's your mixture, pulling all the way towards you will make it rich. The throttle all the way towards you will increase the throttle. The lower left is your magnetic compass. Down the center there we have the fuel gauge and we can see the triggers on the stick. Over on the right, got airspeed indicator in kilometers per hour and the altimeter in meters. Looking back to the center, You've got the magnetos, the clock, air pump emergency shutoff, fuel tank selector, air pump selector and pressure release, and the slip indicator. To start the engine in the spad, it's just like all these other airplanes. Just going to set the mixture to rich. And we have a water radiator, so I'm going to open that up as well. Then we press E, and then the engine starts. So we'll have a look at some pilot's notes. Alright, so now the engine started, we can get ready to take off from the field and uh, have a look at another landing. So we get the air and into the wind, and we'll taxi out. So we come around and line ourselves up, and uh, on the roll, we're going to have the stick get neutral, and we have a very slight forward pressure as we get faster to get that tail skid off the ground. So here we can apply full power now we're lined up. Using that rudder to keep ourselves straight. A little bit of forward pressure. So the plane will lift off. And we'll get ourselves climbing. And in the spad you want to be climbing about 120 km per hour. There's my 120. Keeping ourselves in a nice straight up wind, and we'll join the pattern and look at how to do the landing. To land the spad on downwind, you'll set the mixture to rich. You'll adjust the water radiator as you want to to maintain whatever temperature you want. The throttle, set it to have about 1200 RPM. This should let you slow down to about 120 km per hour. By the end of downwind, once you get it being your touchdown point, we're going to cut that throttle. And we'll do a power up approach for a base to final with an airspeed of around 120 km per hour. So as we're turning to downwind, we're going to be maintaining our pattern altitude, a good distance from the runway. We're trying to maintain that 120 km per hour, so we have the throttle set to about 1200 RPM. And the mixture's already rich, and our water radiator controls are set, so we're already set up for landing at this point. Coming up on beam our touchdown point, we're going to get ready to cut the power and then we'll start that base the final turn. So there it is, cut the power. We'll be doing about 120 km per hour and then we'll begin our base to final turn. It's going to be a little bit hard to see with the wing in the way, so you're still trying to visualize your aiming point and make that nice curved approach towards it. Now of course if something isn't looking right to you, then you're going to be adjusting your power and pitch as you need. But this is looking pretty good right now for this power off, so we'll just keep it coming around. Still getting that aiming point at the beginning of the runway, it looks good. So we'll keep coming in, and we'll get ready to touch down. So we're getting wings level in a short final. Allow the plane to keep coming down to the ground, getting into the round out, so leveling the plane off. Start pitching up to get that three point attitude and touch down. 
Now you're going to do your best to come to a stop nice and straight using the rudders. But if you end up sliding off to one side, it looks like a ground loop. You can add some power on the opposite rudder. That'll give you more authority to counteract that and keep yourself straight. You're at a slow enough speed, you can then taxi off the field wherever you want. That completes the video on the SPAD 13. If you liked it, let me know with the like button and a comment. Don't forget, you can be a subscriber by clicking that button in the center there, and that way you can see new videos as they're released.